Hey guys, this is your Tuster Weather Forecast, and today we're going to be talking about upcoming severe weather chances for portions of the United States over the next two to three days. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed, so please click the subscribe button if you like weather related content and hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, like this and share the video with your friends and family to get this out to as many people as possible who may be affected by this. This is the Storm Prediction Center's Day 2 Outlook. They have 58.8 million people inside of a Level 2 slight risk. Cities included are New York City, Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, Charleston, and a whole bunch of other major cities in that slight risk there. And we have two different 2% tornado risk, meaning there's a 2% chance for a tornado per 25 miles. One in the northeast going from New York, Massachusetts, Connecticut, and one in Nebraska going into far northern Kansas. In that large slight risk region, we have a 15% chance to see severe wind per 25 miles. And there is no 15% hail, and it's only a 5% for the northeast there. So hail is on the lesser end of the threat, which is a good thing. Day three has multiple marginal risk. I do believe this marginal risk in north central United States to Dakotas will be upgraded to a slight. I can already tell you now that's more than likely going to be upgraded. And as for the northeast again and the east coast, there is a possibility that some of these regions could get upgraded to a slight, but it's not looking likely at this current moment in time. Moving on to the models. You do see tomorrow early morning, we have some pop-up storms around West Virginia. And as we push into the mid-afternoon hours, you see some more storms pushing along the line from Pennsylvania into West Virginia and some developing in New York. And going into the late afternoon, you see some of those storms around Virginia going into Maryland through Pennsylvania and more of those storms in New York. And going into the evening hours, uh, more storms start developing around Ohio, West Virginia, Virginia. Everywhere you see those like orange blips is the heavier rain and the stronger storms, typically. And then as we get into the overnight hours, a really good looking line starts to form around Pennsylvania into Ohio, which could bring some isolated severe storms. And most storms around the Ohio Valley area will dissipate after midnight. But some stronger storms will still remain possible from New Hampshire, Massachusetts, and portions of New York. That's your trusted weather forecast for this upcoming potential for severe weather in the next couple days. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.